Hey friends, welcome. Welcome back. So listen, if this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. And if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. And thank you so much to all my subby friends. I'm so grateful for every single one of you. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. So tonight, I just wanted to show you this super cool paint booth that my husband made for me. So I'm going to, let me just move my camera around a little bit so that you can kind of see the pieces and then I'll put it back and I'll show you, okay? So as you can see, it's metal. It's up on the wall. It's on there securely for sure. And then the you see the hose and then if you can see, it's hooked up, it's a bucket. And then the top part is from a um, shop back, okay? And then I'll show you, it goes up to the top there. There's room to put stuff up there. And actually, before I get started, I'm also gonna show you that thing that you just saw on top. Okay, so please don't mind me, I've been out riding my bike. So, um, okay, so this, right here is really cool. So this he made me, and I'm sorry, I won't be able to give you a video on this because he didn't video it. But this is just, like, he is so cool. Do you know he made this with his 3D printer and then put this little bearing? So I use this when I paint, like, bigger stuff. I have several pieces, you know, so I put it on I don't have my little, I have a little tacket stuff there that keeps it secured, but it's not on there right now because I'm not using it. But as you can see, it's this little, and this thing isn't always on, just if I need it, depends, there's different things. So I have these little rubber feet that I put on the little screws that keep it stable. But, since I wasn't using it and wasn't planning on showing it to you, it's just up here. Okay, so, but with that, he also made, let me take my cup off. So, see, he made another little um, Lazy Susan inside here for me. So what I used to use, and if you've seen other videos of me painting, I actually used a cardboard box, just like this, on top of a table with the Lazy Susan inside. And it worked really, really well. But, you know, I'd always have to replace my box and, you know, he just wanted to make something nicer for me. And then this is actually a silicone dish drainer from the Dollar Tree that he glued on there just to help keep my cups from sliding. Now, anytime I paint a cup, I use like a solo cup and I put it on the underneath because it gives me something to hold outside of my paint. Now I'm going to turn it on and it is a shot back so it's going to be a little bit loud but I wanted to paint something and let you guys see. So this is open under here and it allows everything to go under there so that the shot back will just sort of help bring the fumes and the smoke dust and stuff down into the shot back. Okay. So, super cool.
I'm not using this cup for anything. I know I did a lot of spraying, but I just wanted you to see that I sprayed for a long time and there are like no fumes in there. So it's a really cool idea. But the other thing is, let me just tell you this. This is something that um, my husband taught me that his dad taught him. So his dad passed away, but he always redid like cars and motorcycles and stuff. And he was a good painter. And so you notice how I had these like um, streak marks. Now I still have it here because this was an imprinted cup. So don't mind that. I would have needed to sand that off. So, but you see how, you know, like now it's getting sort of nice and clear. Like if you have streak marks, if you over spray up at the top, a whole bunch, it'll come down and just smooth out your cup. So pretty cool, right? So um, anyways, listen, I think that this is such a great idea. It, <clears throat> and um, very cool. Now I know like my husband did it with like bent, bended metal and stuff like that, but you could do the same concept even with like a cardboard type of, you know, like box if you can't bend metal. Um, I did ask him if he will go on and put on a video on how to easily bend metal because he said something like this you could actually bend in like a door frame but so I'm going to link the video to this so what I did I had my husband make a YouTube channel because he makes all these really cool things for me and I don't necessarily want to put him making this on my channel. So he said, well, sure, I'll do it if I can also put all of my j cool guy stuff, cool guy stuff, whatever. What's cool guy stuff? Anyways, so, so what he'll do when he does make things for me then that I'm showing you, he'll do a video Put them up there so that if you want to go back and see them I can link it and you can and you can see it okay so um, I will have him put on a video on making a lazy Susan I know that that one he made with a 3d printer the other one he made oh this one he made in a lathe so if you're interested let me know and I will have him show you an easy way to make a lazy susan but that one will probably be up there too all right listen if you like the video please give it a big thumbs up i hope that it was helpful for you and again i'll link the video on how he made this okay all right thanks guys see you later bye But I love to show them because it's so funny. My husband, not only is he so good at building stuff, he has a green thumb. And if you saw his rose bushes, oh my gosh, they're amazing. So he always cuts roses for me. I love them.